Moving on to our next guest. Our next guest is trying something that is crazy. Uh, I call it crazy because what he's trying to do is trying to combine all the NGOs together. Uh, make some noise for Wahoo from uh, NGO Hub Asia. What's up? Okay, we're with Wahoo. Uh, what's NGO Hub Asia exactly? <laughs> what's NGO Hub? Uh, it's been around for two years, four years? Uh, about three years. Three, three years. Plus. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, NGO Hub is a is a resource platform for uh, NGOs, nonprofits in Malaysia. Yep. And we are we are pretty focused on uh, welfare based NGOs because, you know, the the, the word NGO itself. Uh, encompasses a lot of different organizations. Even political organizations are NGOs. registered under the same uh, type of organization. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Same kind of registration on on registrar societies. Wow, uh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. yeah, but but then again, our work focuses more on uh, all the welfare based uh, organizations. So, so when you say yeah. when you say welfare based, you're talking about uh, the underprivileged. Is animals and all that? Uh, yes, yes. So, so anything that is uh, any organization that is doing work. Uh, to benefit the community, um, uh, either you know, either uh, man, animal, uh, the environment. As long as you're doing good, yeah, get in touch with them. But what what do you all do? What do we do? Uh, <laughs> what we try to do is uh, maybe I, sh I should explain it in, in this way. So if you look at uh, businesses, right, companies, right. Companies, they have things like trade associations. Yes. Uh, they organize conferences so they, they can get together and, yes. and work with each other. Yes. Sometimes uh, forming uh, joint ventures. Right. Uh, but if you look at the, the social sector, uh, these things usually don't exist. Right. So, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. Uh, Coordination of, is not good after that. Yeah. So right. a lot of NGOs are, are started by individuals who are passionate about uh, a problem. Yeah. Which they feel like, hey, there's a gap here. I'm, right. I'm very... I'm very uh, disturbed driven, you know. uh, emotionally by this problem. Yep. I, I want to do something about it. Then they set up an, an organization to do the work. But a lot of them are, are, are very independent in a way that uh, they always uh, almost work in a silo. Right. So, so these things about collaborations right, may not be um, their forte. Uh, it may not be something that's natural because they don't start an organization in order to grow it and, and, and you know make it a successful, uh, have branches, different So they fix the, the niche and that's about it. Yeah, and they yeah. don't know how to expand from that. Yeah, but but the thing is, uh, a, a, in many times they need a lot of support. Yep. They are like any other organizations, either prof for profit or non-profit. Uh, they need, a, a, so for, for us, right, as a platform, we always see it as uh, three different types of needs. One is they need money. Uh -huh. So financially, of they, course, need, of they need to survive, to su su sustain, uh, sustain the thing. Exactly. Uh, they need manpower, either uh -huh. volunteers or paid staff. Right. And the third one is they, they need skills and knowledge. Right. Right. So with all these three things, uh, corporate companies have, have different ways to get resources for themselves, work together, uh, and just don't, don't usually do that. So what we see is that, hey, there's, there's a need for a support system uh -huh. for non-profits, for NGOs. Nice. And that's the idea of NGO. So, how does one get in touch with you to just go to yes, the website? Yes, just go it? to this website, ngohub.asia. Uh -huh. um, and you can see all our services from there. Uh, we are also active offline. Right. So, our team uh, goes around organizing uh, uh, meetings, events, right. workshops, forums. So, how often does this happen? Uh, well, we used to do it once a month. Right. Uh, what, it, actually, now we want to do it more often. Uh, just because we we have also upgraded our, our website to include a, a crowdfunding platform. Oh, nice! Yeah. Yeah, hey, I want to know. Um, do you, let's let's be honest. Some yeah. NGOs are fake. <laughs> do you do your due diligence on the NGOs? Eh? Yeah, I think that I think that part is very important. So so I think part of our work, right? I mean, initially when we started, uh, we, we we are we are able to identify a few gaps, uh, which is that uh, it's it's usually very difficult for a for a uh, person to find an NGO and then uh, to, to try to kind of verify that oh this, this NGO is actually doing what they, they are saying they're doing like you know you see an NGO on the, on the uh, Facebook right. and, and 
sometimes you're not sure, right? You want to donate or you want to help out, you want to volunteer, how do I check? Yes. So that's what we, we did for the past three years. Right. We have been going around Malaysia uh, verifying NGOs. So nice. that's, our, that's our first thing actually. Okay, that's good. What we want to do is we want to, so on our, on our website, there's a directory of NGOs. All of them, we have kind of checked the background. Right, so no sneaky hanky panky. Yeah, we we try. That's what we're trying to weed out those. Uh, nice. So those yeah. are like halal certified NGOs. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of. Well, uh, we, yeah, we, we accept both uh, halal and non-halal. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now I've I've got another question for you. Um, what's your background, dude? Uh, so I was I was in sales and marketing. I was in the pharmaceutical. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> I was in the pharmaceutical industry for about nine years. Right. Uh, until one day I decided to make the switch. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> cool. That's what happened. All right, dude. So um, this NGO uh, Hub Asia, um, when you say it's uh, searching for money and stuff like that, so the NGOs can come there, register, and actually you help them find the, the funding and all that. Um, uh, what we do is, uh, we, you know, we, we used to not want to touch the money part. Of course. <laughs> but you know, we, we try to do it in another way, which is, uh, okay, you want the money for something, right? Uh-huh. Uh huh. So we used to give out a grant uh, together with 7-Eleven Malaysia. So right. they, they supported the grant, which is to give things like tables, chairs, uh, double-decker beds, uh, mattresses, computers, printers, things that usually you need for your operation. Ah, okay. Right? So, so we buy it and we give it to you. You, you know, there's a, there's a process you have to go through. But now that it's not active anymore. And, and we feel like after, <laughs> after three but years... You do, you do charge for the trade. No, no, no. So all our services to non-profits are free. Right. So we are ourselves... Uh, a NGO. organization, yeah, NGO. Uh, NGO helping other NGOs. Yeah. So, very cool. Like you said, all the different NGOs, um, and everybody sees a gap, they try to do it. Yeah. Then, uh, like feeding the homeless. Yeah. There's so many people feeding the homeless yeah. now yeah. that one area has too many people. Yeah. Do you help spread them out, or you know, yeah. do you have a place where NGOs go, like, okay, I want to feed the homeless, but where is not covered? Is that places like that? You, do you do that? <laughs> yes. Because sometimes there's yeah. overfeeding for... I'm not saying yeah. that it's wrong, but I don't waste food. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So we came across this problem about two years ago, I think. A mm-hmm. year plus two years ago. And uh, uh, so we, we were interacting with the soup kitchens, right? I mean, yep. And, and they told us, hey, you know what? You know, in, in Sometimes in one particular night, uh, when we arrive at the, at the place to try to distribute food, the, the, the homeless uh, person already have five packs of food. Right, yeah, exactly. From Sorry. different people. Exactly, and they're like, uh, yeah. thanks for the food, but no thanks, <laughs> no, don't waste it. Which to eat, okay, which one to yeah. eat? And, and it's, a waste. Later. Yeah, it's a waste. It's a waste. I mean, they, they cannot finish it because a, a lot of it is cooked food. So, exactly. Yeah. So, so then we encountered this problem and we went into the, the issue a bit uh, with some forums, uh, a few meetups with uh, all the NGOs. Uh, that's, when we, that's when we first discovered there's this other part of the world that we can do. Yeah, which organization, is, yeah, which is, bigger picture. Exactly, which is to be the point of contact between different organizations. So you all do that too? Uh, that has become quite an important part, I would say. Yeah. Uh, that is not, you know, we, we didn't come up with this idea when we started the, the platform. Right. Uh, but then again, because of this issue, we, 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 we realized, you know, the funny thing is, right, uh, in, in the first forum that we organized, um, there were some people on the audience uh, who suggested, hey, you know what, uh, since everybody is like sort of uncoordinated, can someone come up with, uh, you know, a central place where, you know, there's a schedule or something? Right. And then, and then there are voices from the, from the audience that say, hey, you know, there's some NGOs there. And then, hey, maybe we, should, we need a, a, a neutral platform to do that for us. Maybe NGO Hub can do it. And we were like, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for volunteering us. <laughs> we shall do it now. And that's yeah. So so that's that, how it that's, is. that's how it started. Okay. Uh, on another note, um, a lot of companies do CSRs. Yeah. And um, sometimes they don't know where to go to, you know, which cause to follow. Yeah. Uh, can they come to you and look for the proper ones that fit them, right? Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. Sure. So so we do that as well. I mean, uh, uh, just because our our NGO list is is uh, kind of verified, uh, we we check a bit of the background. I think most of the work is in in trying to verify the NGOs. Of course, of course. You don't want money to disappear and go to the wrong hands. But yeah. hey, dude, what you're trying to do is amazing. Hopefully it comes true because I, I believe 
it's supposed to help. Are you all around Malaysia or just centralized in KL? Uh, You're trying to do all around yeah, Malaysia, but at the moment, yeah, exactly. I kind of guess. Hey, but you know, get in touch with them if you have an NGO and if you want to find out uh, stuff, you know, do your best to help out. Even if you want to volunteer, you can look yes. there for the proper yes. places to volunteer around your area. So that's the place to go help people. Yeah. Voice of God. I want to save a life. What, the chicken? Somebody's dying. Oh, Richard. Yeah. I said on Richard. <laughs> uh, but dude, thank you so much for sharing this information with it's us. A pleasure. Uh, uh, once again, if you want to find out all the information, it's uh, NGO Hub Asia there. It's read his chest. I know that didn't not come out right. Not a big right. one, but... Yeah, not a big one, but read his chest. chest. I don't believe he said that. <laughs> yeah, he did. Okay, yeah, fine. Did. All right, give it up for you. Dude, thank, thank you so you. much. Give it up for him, man. Wahoo!